Hi, my name is Theo and I'm from DS18, the 18th cohort at the Data School, the, the Information Lab. And in this video I'm going to show you how to build a Mario Mecha chart, or otherwise just known as a Mecha chart. So I'll show you the chart we're going to build. So this is a Mario Mecha chart. And a Mario Mecha chart is a stacked bar chart where an additional element, width, is added to show a second quantitative variable. And you can think of these almost like two stacked bar charts in one. So there's bars, the bar is stacked vertically and also horizontally. So in this example, we've got, it's based on um, Superstore data, so Tableau's inbuilt data set. And we've got our segments, consumer, corporate, and home office, stacked for each region. And then the contribution of each region to, in terms of sales, along the x axis. So stacked both vertically and horizontally. So to build this chart, I'm going to build out a table and turn it into a visualization first. So I'm going to drag my region to my rows, and then my segment to my rows, and then my sales to the ABCs to just form this table. And what I'm going to do is, firstly I want to work out the contribution of each segment for each region, so I'm going to have to create a table calculation. So I'm going to click on the pill, choose add table to calculation, and what I'm going to do is choose percent of total, and I'm going to untick, so I'm going to choose specific dimensions and untick region. And what that's going to do is basically say every region restart uh, my calculation. So it's going to give me my percent of total for each uh, segment within a region. And I'm also just going to drag sales onto my table as well, just so I've got my sales values there so I can um, reference them. And what I'm going to do, so that, that gives me my... Uh, vertical stack, so the uh, contribution of each segment to a region, but I want to also stack my chart horizontally as well, so work out the region contribution of each region to um, the total. So to do that I'm going to need an LOD calculation, and actually I've already made this, so I'm going to show you, so it's called regional shale, sales, and it's going to say for each region, so fixed on region, give me the sum of sales. So for each region it's going to give me the sum of sales, and if I drag that onto my table, it's going to look like this. So it's just going to sum up my sales for each region. And so you can see it's repeated for each um, segment because it's at the level of region. And the reason I need that is because I basically need to work out the width of each bar. And also, I'm going to now create a running total to kind of determine how far each bar um, starts along the x-axis. And so the calculation I've got is this thing called running regional total x-axis. So if I just drop that there and then I'll open it. What this is saying is basically, it's a little complicated, but it's saying if off if it's our first row, then give me back my regional sales. So just this value here, which is our first row. Sorry, this this one here, my regional sales. Otherwise if our region doesn't equal the region before, so this is an example where it doesn't. So this east region, the row before, is actually essential. So it's going to say, give me this value, this value added to this value. And it's going to do that for each time it finds a restart. And it says else previous value. So basically, in uh, that's an example here, it could be this row. It's not the first row, and the row before is still the same region. So what it's going to do is just say, give me the previous value. So it's going to say, just give me this value here. And what that does is basically creates a running total but keeps my values the same for each region. And so now let's turn this into the Marameco. So what I'm going to do is drag measure values to detail, I'm going to drag region to detail, and I drag segment to detail. And then what I'm going to do is take measure names off my columns, and first I'm going to uh, build my uh, bars vertically. So I'm going to drag the sum of my sales, uh, my calculation, to my rows, and then drag my x-axis onto my columns, so my running regional total. So being two numerical values, uh, Tableau want to draw a scatter plot, but we're going to just change this to be bar. And I've got to remember to compute my uh, running regional total using region. And we want to size these bars by the number of their sales, so their contribution of, as a region to the whole. So I'm going to drag my sum of regional sales onto my size, 
And then I'm gonna, I can, great thing about Tableau is I can fix this and align it right hand side. So basically from the right hand side, it's gonna fill out based on that value. And I've got my Marimekko chart. So what I'm gonna do is just finish it off by dragging um, segment onto color and then dragging region onto my labels to work out, just to be clear on what re each region is. As you can see, the x-axis doesn't highlight that. So that is my Marimekko chart quite straightforward um, once you get your head around these calculations. So I hope this video has helped you be more confident in making a Marimekko chart. So uh, please subscribe to this channel and also click this link to check out uh, a how-to video by my colleague Greg on how to build a dynamic org chart. Thank you.